Welcome back to the channel. You may have heard by now that after an 11 day trial, Ed Sheeran has won his high court battle over alleged copyright infringement. Sammy Chokri, known as Sammy Switched, accused Ed Sheeran and his co-writers of using part of one of his songs from 2015 in Ed Sheeran's song Shape of You. Specifically, the allegation against Ed Sheeran and his co-writers was that the hook OI in Shape of You was taken from the song OY by Sammy Chokri in 2015. But the judges ruled in Ed Ed Sheeran's favour, saying that there was only a speculative foundation that Ed Sheeran had heard Chukri's song before writing Shape of You. In fact, the judge said, I find as a matter of fact that he had not heard it. The judge did acknowledge that there were similarities between the one bar phrase in Shape of You and OY, but said such similarities are only a starting point for possible copyright infringement. And after studying the various musical elements, there were differences between the relevant parts of the songs, which provided compelling evidence that the OI phrase in Ed Sheeran's song originated from sources other than OY. But aside from the win itself, what I think is really important about this is Ed Sheeran's thoughts after the trial. Specifically, the notion that claims are brought with the idea that a settlement is cheaper than going all the way through the trial. Obviously, Ed Sheeran went all the way through the trial and didn't settle, and ultimately proved that he was correct, and the judge ruled in his favour. But frankly, it is certainly not uncommon for a claim to be brought with the view that a settlement will be cheaper than someone defending the claim in court. So I think it's really important that you hear Ed Sheeran's thoughts on this immediately after the trial. So I'm going to play the clip for you now. Whilst we're obviously happy with the result, I feel like claims like this are way too common now and have become a culture where a claim is made with the idea that a settlement will be cheaper than taking it to court, even if there's no base for the claim. It's really damaging to the songwriting industry. There's only so many notes and very few chords used in pop music. Coincidence is bound to happen if 60,000 songs are being released every day on Spotify. That's 22 million songs a year and there's only 12 notes that are available. I don't want to take anything away from the pain and hurt suffered from both sides of this case, but I just want to say I'm, I'm not an entity, I'm not a corporation, I'm a human being, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a son. Lawsuits are not a pleasant experience, and I hope with this ruling it means in the future baseless claims like this can be avoided.